You saw the photograph, so this should be of no surprise. Feel free to examine the body, Mr. Langdon. It's a pentacle, one of the oldest symbols on Earth, used over 4,000 years before Christ. Devil worship. No, the pentacle is a pre-Christian symbol that relates to nature worship. The ancients envisioned their world in two halves, masculine and feminine. This pentacle is representative of the female half of all things, a concept religious historians call the sacred feminine or divine goddess. Sonier of all people would know this. Sonier drew a goddess symbol on his stomach? Interesting. The position of his feet reinforces the reference to the pentacle and the sacred feminine. I beg your pardon? Replication. Repeating a symbol is the simplest way to strengthen its meaning. Jacques Saunier positioned himself in the shape of a five-pointed star. <laughs> Interesting analysis. He stripped himself naked, folded his clothes, and put them away from himself? Pardon? It's rather meticulous for a dying man. I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. Even his nudity may have meaning. Uh, what do you think about the use of his own blood as ink? Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at his left hand. He's clutching a large felt-tip marker. It smells like alcohol. Uh, Sonia was holding it when we found him. As I told you, we have touched nothing. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light illumination to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. What the hell does this mean? That, monsieur, is precisely the question you are here to answer. Part of it looks like a numeric cipher. Yes, our cryptographers are already working on it. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him, uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Uh, wouldn't you agree? An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. Uh, he lived in Paris. And yet he chose to write this message... In English? Precisement, Monsieur Langdon. I have seen a lot of death in my work, and let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure, spiritual statement that no one will understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. La vengeance. I believe Sonnier wrote this note to tell us to kill him. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonier was attacked by someone he had apparently invited in. Considering the circumstances, I would assume that if Sonier wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Precisement, precisement. Capitaine. Oh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, oui? Uh, Capitaine, un agent de département de cryptographie est arrivé. Unacceptable, I made it very clear. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment. I have deciphered the numeric code, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? The U.S. Embassy asked that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? This line is secure. You may use it. I should be out of the streets. Bonjour, vous êtes bien chez Sophie Neveu. Je suis absent pour le moment, mais... I'm sorry, Miss Neveu. I think you may have given me the wrong... No, that is the right number. It's the three-digit code on the paper I gave you. But... The Embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. She handed the me a note. That Sonier wrote I should look at that. Numérique.
Your professional assessment of Sonnier's code is that it is some kind of numeric prank? Ah, this is the number I'm supposed to call. It is the Fibonacci sequence, a progression in which each term is equal to the sum of the two preceding terms. Oh, never heard of it. Mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci created this succession of numbers in the 13th century. Obviously, there can be no coincidence that all of the numbers Sonia wrote on the floor belong to Fibonacci's famous sequence. Wh what is he saying? What does this mean? Absolutely nothing. That is the point. It's a simplistic cryptographic joke. Like taking the words of a famous poem and shuffling them at random to see if anyone recognizes what all the words have in common. No, this makes no sense at all. Those numbers... Monsieur Langdon, do not react to this message. Just listen calmly. You are in danger right now. Follow my directions very closely. Tell Fash the phone message is regarding an injured friend back home. Then ask to use the restroom at the end of the Grand Gallery. Captain, considering what you have at stake here tonight, I thought you might appreciate knowing that Jacques Saunier might be playing games with you. Apparently not. I will inform the Director of Cryptography you no longer need our services. Is everything all right? An accident. A, a friend. I'll need to fly home first thing in the morning. Who would you like to sit down? Actually, I think I'd like to use the restroom. The restrooms are at the end of the Grand Gallery. Shall I accompany you? Not necessary. I, I think I'd like a few minutes alone. I must return to Monsieur Sonnier's office for a moment. Uh, please come find me directly when you are finished in... La Toilette. There is more we need to discuss. Thank God you came. We don't have much time. I wanted to warn you, Monsieur Langdon, that you are sous surveillance caché, under a guarded observation. But why? Because. Fascist's primary suspect in this murder is you. Look in your jacket pocket. You will find proof they are tracking you. Just look. What is this? It's a GPS tracking dot. It continuously transmits its location to a global positioning system satellite that the DCPJ can monitor. We use them to monitor people's locations. It's accurate within two feet anywhere on the globe. They have you on an electronic leash in case you decide to run. In fact, they hope you do run, because it would make their case much stronger. Why would I run? I'm innocent. Do you recall the three lines of text that Sonia wrote on the floor? What you saw was not the entire message. This is a photo of the complete message. Why would Sonia write this? Was he trying to frame me? No. He wrote it for me. The numbered code is meaningless. Sonia wrote it to make sure the investigation included cryptographers, ensuring that... I would know as soon as possible what had happened to him. Why you specifically? How do you know it wasn't for some other cryptographer? P.S. is the nickname he called me when I lived with him. It stood for Princess Sophie. We had a falling out ten years ago. Jacques Saunier. He, uh, he was my grandfather. Where's Langdon? Uh, still in the men's room, sir. We are seeing small movements, so the GPS dot is obviously still on him. Perhaps he feels ill. If he had found the dot, he would have removed it and tried to run. Hmm. Fine. What should I do? Fash will be taking you into custody any minute. I can get you out of here, but we need to act now. You want me to run? It's the smartest thing you could do. If you stay, you will spend weeks in a French jail. But if you get to your embassy, then your government can protect you while I prove you had nothing to do with this murder. Forget it. You need to tell Fosh that the message on the floor was for you, and that my name is not there as an accusation. Fosh is convinced you are guilty. The only way to get you out is with a distraction. The GPS tracking dot? 
We need them to think you are running. If we can throw it out the window onto one of the cars going by, I bet a lot of the police would clear out. Uh, but a tracking dot does not weigh much more than a gram. See if you can find something to attach it to that would make it heavier. I can use this. Sop? That will work. Come, help me open this window. Alarm! Grand Galerie! Toilette, Monsieurs! Where's Langdon? Still in the men's room. He must have broken the window. I knew it! He is trying to escape. Quick, Robert! Help me get this window open. Hurry, Robert! Good. Now put the GPS tracking dot inside this shop and throw it out the window. All right. That worked. car round. I want to be there when we make the arrest. O oh, draconian devil. O oh, lame saint. The scrambled Fibonacci sequence is a clue. The numbers are a hint as to how to decipher the rest of the message. He wrote the sequence out of order to tell us to apply the same concept to the text. Oh, draconian devil, oh, lame saint, those lines mean nothing. They are simply letters written out of order. You think this message is in anagram? Like a world jumble from a newspaper? Your grandfather's meaning was right in front of us all along, and he left us more than enough clues to see it. Let me see that photo. Uh, 